onto the Trump presidency this morning and the government shut down that shows no signs of ending before Christmas. In fact, the U.S. Senate has adjourned for the holiday with no compromise in place. The president is now canceling his Florida Christmas vacation to stay in Washington. CBS News correspondent Ed O'Keefe has more from Capitol Hill. The next scheduled session will be on the 27th. Of December. Congress started leaving town today with no resolution to the partial government shutdown. We push the pause button until the president, from whom we will need a signature, and Senate Democrats, from whom we will need votes, reach an agreement. At issue is funding for about a quarter of the federal government. President Trump is insisting on $5 billion for a wall along the U.S. Mexico border. But Democrats continue to buck his demands. As President Trump is demanding billions of dollars for an expensive, ineffective wall that the majority of Americans don't support. He said the Mexicans would pay for this wall. We all thought that was blarney. In fact, it was blarney. Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates is a close ally of the president. And do you acknowledge that if you don't get it done now, under full Republican control of Washington, it may not happen ever. I think that the president has the wherewithal and the staying power to hold firm to his demands for $5 billion for border security. With top leaders barely speaking to each other, rank and file members are left to mostly watch and wait. Most of that work is done and has been done for months. All the arguments have been about these final few dollars dealing with border security. With an impasse on Capitol Hill, other parts of the government began shutting down, including top Washington tourist sites. Due to a government shutdown, the historic site, which includes our theater, museum, and Peterson House, will be closed for daytime visitation. Other attractions, including the National Zoo, remain open, at least for now. This is the third government shutdown this calendar year and the fourth since Republicans retook control of Congress in 2011. A shutdown back in 2013 lasted 16 days, and if nobody starts talking, this one could last far longer. Ed O'Keefe, CBS News, Capitol Hill.